It's May 1st, 2021. Um, we're giving the batteries their first uh, charge. Um, right now we're working on the second set of 30. Um, that's them. This is the first set. You'll see one's missing there. The uh, Manzanita Micro uh, PFC30 is doing a great job. Uh, the Renogy Monitor is doing a great job. Life is good. I have a webcam set up so I can watch it from upstairs. And I got another webcam set up so I can keep an eye on the batteries themselves. And I want to do that because that missing battery there had an issue last night. It basically blew up. I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost twice as wide as it's supposed to be. Um, not exactly sure why, but um, I'm going to contact the manufacturer after I'm sure the, uh, the second set of 30 is okay. So batteries. Batteries have been a little bit of a saga for me, but uh, I top balanced these when um, they first arrived from China. Um, had a little bit of an issue with one of them. Um, had to pay for a replacement, but I got that squared away. Um, and put them in storage at like 3.55 volts. They're at, uh, they came out at like 3.42. So, um, a couple of them are a little lower, 3.43, whatever. So I'm charging them now. I got them on a 10 amp charge. Um, you can see all the, uh, everything's in parallel. And I put an extra shunt on the other end, an extra jumper on the other end, just to make a little, try to keep them as even as possible. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video on this, um, make sure you hardwire from the charger to the uh, battery bank, um, banana jacks and small test leads um, can really screw you up. So we'll see how this goes. So I spent a lot of time on um, battery enclosures. I was going to make a make one out of um, PVC, possibly uh, with a fiberglass layer on it. Um, I ultimately decided to get these. Um, truck boxes. They're aluminum truck boxes for storage. Uh, the inside measures 18 by 36 and each battery bank measures 17 by 35. So I'm going to have a half inch all the way around. Um, that'll be shimmed with a half inch PVC board. Um, there's some threaded rods going through and some steel bars on the outside. Um, I've decided I'm not going to compress them, but to fix them in their current state uh, to minimize the expansion. Once again, that's something that's debated, but that's my choice. Here's the uh, new battery boxes, just kind of temporarily sitting where they're going to be. I wasn't able to uh, tuck them back um, as far as I thought against the transom. Um, because of the steering cables and such, so that's where they're going to sit. Um, what I think this is going to be now, rather than putting seats back there, um, I think it's going to be a sun pad, which is not unusual for um, this type of boat. So um, here we go. This is a real quick video on uh, connecting active balancers in Cascade. Uh, this is a 30 battery group. And I have two um, 16S um, JK active balancers. There's one there, and there's one there, and they're working well. Um, I'm not going to get into active balancers. This is strictly about cascading them. When uh, you go to the instructions on cascading, you can see that they want um, the B- and the B1 of the active balancer 2 to be laid directly across um, the last battery of active balancer one. And they will um, talk to each other in essence. Um, one will see that 
um, two has a low battery or two will see that one is a low battery um, but they're only talking through that last battery and I say talking because this is not a digital thing it's just seeing the low or high voltage so um, in my case I set up active balancer one uh, in the app for uh, 16 batteries and I set up the active balancer 2 for 15 batteries and number 16 in the app is the same as number 1 in the app so um, you can see them you can see that they're equal there um, so I hope that helps so that's it for batteries for now um, that's the port side bank of 30 that still needs to have the uh, leads uh, made up for it. This is the starboard side, side of 30. Um, the active balancer has worked out really well. Um, the two active balancers don't actually show up on one screen in the app. I'm not happy about that, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm going to use um, these number one um, shunts that I made up um, where the... Uh, solid copper bars don't fit um, they're good for over 300 amps so i think i'm going to just go with those for the final install and uh, got some longer shunts made up to uh, for the testing purposes and we're going to get to the fun stuff here hopefully in a little bit <laughs> 